briefing, 7 o'clock, we're going to start the Conservation Commission meeting for January 25th. Uh, President Ed, Kim, and myself. Uh, the first thing on the agenda is 25A Street, off the tree removal. It's nobody here for that, but I did go by and took a look at that site uh, a couple weeks ago, and um, we'll say yes to it. But anybody have any questions on it? Sounds good to me. Okay. Sounds good. I'll we'll make a motion. Uh, I put a motion for 21 A Street, three more. And second? Seconded. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Excuse me, uh, yeah. member of the commission. Yes. I'm not sure if you can. Thank you. Um, I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to ask a quick question before you folks continue with your meeting. Okay, um, this is Jonathan Nero. Yes, my name is Jonathan Nero. I'm an environmental scientist with Data Group. Uh, we came before you folks uh, last fall, I believe, to permit the bridge replacement on Pine Street. Um, we haven't received the order of conditions yet, so we just want to check in on the status of that because we are looking to help um, prepare bid documents for the DPW so that this can go out to bid and eventually be constructed. What was it again? I'm sorry, I didn't catch this. Is the Pine Street Bridge? Yeah, this is the Pine Street Bridge replacement. I do have the order of condition. I have the, um, hello. I have them here in the office. Okay. If I to come by and pick them up. I thought we did. Okay. What, um, would we be able to get a scanned copy too if we reached out to the um, secretary for that? Uh, the, we don't have a secretary at the moment, but we okay. can, um, I'll see if one of the other regulatory boards can do that for you. Okay, but it's, uh, so it's signed and available to be picked up if we come by? Yeah. Great, great. Well, I appreciate the help. Thank you all and have a great night. Okay. Bye. So the 705-51 Paradise Lane, septic upgrade. Hi there, how are you? Yeah, we have the What is that? You want to Unit Consulting Engineers uh, here before you with a notice of intent at 15 McGarrett's Lane. Um, we are proposing, um, we're here before you because obviously we're within 100 feet and one pond uh, There's an existing stru structure, sorry, there's an existing structure located here. Um, we are looking to actually um, take that structure down, to use the exact same footprint and reconstruct a new home keep it existing three bedroom home and reconstruct right in the existing footprint there. Um, we have, uh, as part of this proposal, we have upgraded the septic system um, to get it as far away from Mont Ponds if Ponds possible. The, the green that you see here is the 100 foot buffer zone. Um, we were able to get that, the septic tank in the leaching field over 100 feet, which is really a, a, obviously a major thing because it's a tributary to a surface water supply. Um, this has been reviewed and I believe approved by the board of health. Mm -hmm. um, so that's obviously really important on your end to make sure that this complies, um, which, which in there and it does. Um, so basically what we're looking to do is there's gonna be some regrading um, here. Um, the limit of work is in this blue here. We're proposing a salt sock um, at this time if the commission, you know, sees fit that is you know an erosion control method that you like more we can we're, we're obviously open to that 
um, but basically we're, we're not going within the 25 foot buffer. Um, we're just basically trying to, we're basically just wrapping it around the existing house um, in order to be able to work on it. Um, and obviously to be able to protect that resource area. Um, we are proposing a, um, a stockpile area here. We're not quite able to get it over 100 feet only because there's an existing garage here. And this is the access um, into the site. And then you've got the septic system. So there's really, this is really the only spot to be able to stockpile. Most likely the material is just gonna have to get taken off site, but I didn't want to designate something. So at least they knew to keep it as far away as possible. Um, let's think, what else? Uh, so the existing driveway that's here is we're just basically looking to maintain that um, at this time. And anything else? Today you're just here for the septic, right? Not for the house? Uh, no, we're here for the house as well. Oh, the house, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, again, we're, we're not, Changing the footprint, there's no excavation really on that. They're just gonna basically redo the foundation um, and then you know stay right in that existing footprint there. We're not going outside it at all. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. That was part of the um, the discussions with the building inspector, I believe, uh, the builder that I'm dealing with, um, and then my clients are dealing with. It's spoken with the building inspector, and he said if you stay within that footprint, um, you can issue a permit on that. So that's the intent at this time. Um, would you understand that we know if something changes, we'll have to come back and for our permission. You mean the driveway is exactly where it was before you just fixing it? Yeah, I mean, I, that's what I, that's how I showed it. I don't know if you plan on extending it's it at all. It's a gravel driveway it's now. It's a gravel oh, driveway okay. now. Yeah, so we, we're planning on, this is it right here. Um, and we're just put, proposing to leave it exactly as it is. Um, that's really about it. It's pretty straightforward overall. Um, obviously everything that is, um, everything that is disturbed will be warmed and seeded or, you know, resurfaced. Um, so, you know, obviously for proper stabilization. So that's really about it. Um, and we have to answer any questions that you have. Any questions? Make a motion. Anybody? Right, anybody here have a question for? No. Okay. Right. I make a motion to approve 51 Paradise Lane with the conditions set forth as written by the Board of Health and dependent on a permit from the building department. And including that stated order of conditions, which I'll give you a copy of. Thank you. Yes. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. 710 with 327 Wood Street certificate of compliance. So how are you? Good. Thank you. We have that for you. And I think we had talked about it on a prior meeting. We just needed to get that to get compliance form for you. I believe. Yeah. This is a property that you were trying to. We're ready to close in a few days, and. This came up during the title search, yeah. and uh, it was like, oh, okay. And the kick of it is, it had something in 2007 that had to do with the septic tank we put in. But we just put the new septic in four days ago, and it never even came up, and order of conditions was needed. So no one can explain to us why this was even in existence. So, it's an administrative error somewhere, and we apologize. Oh, no, no. The town has fault in that too because we should have known a new septic was going in just through the Board of Health. Because if you don't have Board of Health compliance, either you're going to have the same. We have that. Right. Everything's all so, done. Everything's good. Yes, it's yeah. clerical. Yeah. It's clerical somewhere. So. Okay. Right. We're going to make a motion for a certificate of compliance for 327 Wood Street. I put a motion for 327 Wood Street certificate of compliance. Aye. Our apologies for the administrative mistake. <laughs> Can we just ask that once you go to registry deeds, you can just uh, bring us a copy? Sure. With the
our screen or yeah we can see you, you can see us okay okay we can see you guys too so great <laughs> um thanks for thanks for getting this zoom set up that was very helpful um we just figured this would be pretty quick so we didn't we didn't think it was worth the drive to halifax and uh figured we could use that that meeting for when we need to discuss regulations um so i guess we were just we just wanted to check in, make sure you all didn't have any questions on the bylaw, um, the stormwater management bylaw uh, revisions that we sent you. Um, and then if not, we can plan to have Bob, the health agent, um, get the article ready for the select board. Um, yeah, so I guess first to start, did anyone have questions or want to go over what what the main changes were? Do you have questions? No, I, I don't. No, it's fine. Yeah. I thought it was really well done, and I was very excited that not only Bob, but his board was supportive of us, too. It's exciting to have both boards collaborating, so. Absolutely, yeah. That was, uh, Cambria, do you want to, uh, you talked to Bob mostly, so I don't know if you want to add anything there yeah no other than he um yep he's on board with all of the updates happy to keep the the biosolids language in as well so um yeah he's definitely willing to help and uh get that article over sooner rather than later so we can uh yeah bring it to down meeting awesome. yeah so the the only thing I just wanted to like the biggest change that I just wanted to remind you all of because it'll you know, have an impact for implementation is, I mean, most, almost all the changes were for clarity and, you know, moving things to the regulations because they made more sense there rather than in the bylaw. But the main um, thing is that now, you know, you need a permit, a stormwater permit, if you're disturbing more than an acre, which has always been the case. But now you also need a permit, what we're calling a minor stormwater permit, if you're in the Monponset Pond watershed. Um, and then we, we just to make things clearer, we said you need a biosolids permit if you're applying biosolids. So there's three different kinds of permits within this bylaw. That's how we phrased it. Um, the regular stormwater permit for disturbing over an acre, the, the Monponset Pond permit for or which is minor stormwater permit and then the biosolids permit so that's the biggest change um so if 
any of those activities are happening, you know, just keep it at that. That should be a flag should go off. Okay. This person needs some kind of permit. So that, that's really the biggest change. Everything else was more just hopefully to make this bylaw a little more easy to read and understand and not redundant with the regulations. Okay. That sounds good. Good. All right. So Cambria will mostly coordinate with Bob to get the yep. article. We can coordinate with Bob uh, moving forward. Um, and then we just briefly wanted to touch base on the schedule to get the accompanying regulations updated um, since they go along with the bylaw and we have some similar language updates for clarity. Um, so if it works for you, we were thinking that um, we could get you those next week, the proposed regulation revisions, um, give you a week to look those over and then um, come back February 8th and again, do the same thing. If there are any questions, go over any of them, um, use that time to discuss the regulation updates. Um, and then those can be um, updated at a public hearing. We just need those two weeks of notice um, posted. So just working backwards, if we were to approve the new regulations on February 22nd, just making sure that something was um, posted about that by February 8th. Um, and we can help prepare the announcement if that would be helpful too, um, just kind of what language that needs to include. Um, but just wanted to check on if that timeline sounded like it worked for you. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. No, it does. It sounds good. Sounds great. great. So then who does the um, requests for the, you know, public notice in the newspaper? Do you all do that? Yes, I think that would be me. Okay. We do the great. secretary, but we don't have the one. secretary would do it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So do you know how um, much in advance you have to submit the ad to the newspaper? I would probably want to get that place by next Tuesday. By next Tuesday. Okay, that sounds great. So we will we'll try to get you something in the next couple days so that you can get it placed by next Tuesday. Yeah, I mean it should be a quick blurb, so should, we'll just send it to you in an email. Okay, sounds good. Okay, wonderful. Sounds great. All right, have a good night, everyone. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you, ladies, for your hard work. Bye. You're thank very you. Welcome. All too. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Let's see if we have um, bills we can do. Bills. Um, bills for W.B. Mason for office supplies that need to be paid. And therefore, what is it? One for $8.03, one for $28.48. And then it looks like there's one for $36.51. Is that a total? Oh, that's the total. Oh, the total's yeah. going to be $36.51. All right, that's pretty much how we pay bills. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Perfect. And then we have five minutes. And who will the meetings? Do we have that? No. No. Mm -hmm. I'm the secretary for that. And we didn't put on the agenda the executive session we've been talking about, so we'll put it on the next one. Okay. Um, the, um, February 8th, too, if the board's not against it, um, or maybe you guys want to do it a different way, but I have been talking to Rob Grant and have updates for the whole board um, that aren't urgent or anything. But it's an interesting project with a lot of different details and moving paths. And it's just, it's super cool. But I had a small report on and then noticed I forgot to ask to put it on the agenda. Okay. So I didn't print it and bring everyone copies. So. No. Okay. We'll see it on the 8th. On the 8th. Yeah. No worries. Right. Right. Nope. It, nothing bad. There's nothing it is. It's super cool. I think everyone will enjoy it. And Mr. Grant's just great to work with. So. Look at that on the 8th.
Some kind of information? No. I guess we said it's close. It's 18 River Street staff. All this is a certificate of compliance. Advised? Um, no. I know. I don't know why it was but Oh, I think the, the pages were, I think we got the incorrect on pages. Okay. Um, that's why. So we just had to type it up correctly. So in 7.30, I have a um, certificate of compliance for 18 industry. I put a motion for 18 River Street Certificate of Compliance. Second. Second. You know, all in favor? Aye. Is that it for the day? We got six. Yeah, so I missed that one. What do you mean? Kathy, when we take over the MS4, do you know it has money in conservation budget to do the education path the town is responsible for in the same compliance? I don't know. No, we have. Okay. We can look into it. Okay. See how it's. Yeah, I just think Tom may have tried it out of the corner. No, everything goes that way. Yeah, we need something to help. Great big fun to tell. We make a motion to adjourn. I put a motion we adjourn. One second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye